better grasp of the characters and how the mechanics actually work. So oh yeah, that's a good idea. This is a great, great time for me to make mistakes. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. We'll start off with Twisty. Twisty, you have a little bit of a prom. Uh, you're on your. Uh, what kind of vehicle are you, do you have? I have the, well, aside from the helicopter, uh, the only other vehicle I have is a Ford Americar. Alright. So, one way or another, you're headed out to the Badlands, because your sister kind of gave you the slip. You were having an argument with her. Uh, she basically does not want to grow up to be a shadow runner. Uh, she has that cliche, normal life they talk about all the time in the court vids. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so she's like, why can't we just go and, you know, be a court family? I mean, I know you've been working for the ghost cartels, but I don't want to be a shadow owner. I just want to get married and have a have a wonderful life without everybody shooting at me every day. And then blah, blah, blah. This would probably be like, listen, yeah. you know, the only people that you can trust in this world are the ones who aren't in the, you know... Who aren't working for the corpse? They're the they're the real gangsters, but they don't have the sense of honor. You know, yeah. it's what do you want? Do you want to live comfortable, or do you want to be able to, you know, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't really work. Um, she she really wants a puppy. <laughs> a so, um, puppy? Yeah. So when when she gets a uh, word of a rave out in the out in the Badlands where there's going to be lots of drugs and lots of music and, you know, lots of sex. Um, she goes and gets in the car with some guy she doesn't know and takes off to the Badlands while you're out of the house. Now, you come back to the house and she's missing. You kind of figure because of the fight that she's going to go do the stupid-ass thing. Uh, what do you do? Hmm. So I don't I don't know about any of that stuff you just said, right? Oh, you know all about it. Oh, the the, the rave thing. Yeah, so she told you about talking rave. about it. She didn't say she was going, but she's gone and it's time for the rave, and you kind of figure that's it. Uh, here I does this. Work? What is that? Pull it back a little bit. People you can trust. Me. <laughs> People who want to kill you. Yes, Everyone else. That's pretty good. <laughs> there is no intersection. That's nice. Okay, well, um, basically, uh, Twisty is going to get, is going to probably, you know, get real frustrated and, you know, uh, probably, you know, sweep a bunch of tools off of the bench in her garage and sound mutter about how, uh, Let's see, what did I get? What name did I give her? Uh, Carmen is a stupid fragger, and uh, how she's going to, you know, she she doesn't know what she's getting herself into. And um, let's see, I'm going to take a uh, small pouch of, uh, uh, the, I'm going to take the submachine gun and a small pouch of ammunition and hide it carefully in a, you know, in a suitcase or something and okay. stick it in the trunk of the Americar. And uh, I guess stick the roto drone in the back seat if I can do that. Okay. And uh, take the little micro skimmer with me, which is you know, fits in a pocket, and um, take a, 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 not a small, moderate-sized bag of Milicoke uh, to, for fortification purposes. If anything mm. starts oh, getting yes. really nervous, or just you know to blend in with that crab, right. and uh, head out to this raid. All right. Should I do, like, a navigation or anything to find it? Yep, I'm looking for your character sheet. Just give me a second. Uh... Yeah, I think I might have I might have said that the, the dependent is. was the older sister, but I, I think that was just a typo. I yeah, I, I think you did say it was the younger sister before. Yeah, I, 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 I was just... Weird if it was, was older sister. No, yeah, I was just... I got confused. Yeah. And I am now at 4,000, finally. <laughs> Nice. Only 4,000. All right. Why don't you give me a logic plus navigation roll? Oh, uh, that reminds me. How are we doing dice here? In are we doing 20. that in roll 20? Yeah, okay. let's do it in roll 20. Oh, hold on. I closed the window in a second. Uh, 
on my face. What is happening with my fish? Clearly I need to work on the faces a little bit more. <laughs> okay, apparently you can do roll 20 in here. Uh, why does this keep happening here? Just give me a moment and I'll see what I can do. Okay, my my sky pan or my uh, roll twenty name is Hunter zero zero eight. Let's see campaign. So actually, I don't have much experience with roll twenty. Okay. How do you how do you uh, roll uh, stuff? Do a forge slash roll and then. Uh, uh, actually, uh, roll hammer in. There we go. You I see it? Mm. Oh no, that was just a one d six. Okay, so it's just a one d six. No, no, that was, that was, yeah, I didn't, that's not, that's nothing, I was just, okay. I just clicked on it. Let me see. Lo what was have... that again? Logic plus what? Logic plus navigation. Were you going to say okay. something, James? Logic for... Uh, you can actually uh, open up Roll20 in uh, Hangout. Yeah, just we look can, on the one. but I'm a little bit... I have it open on mine, but it's kind of... It doesn't work super well. Well, apparently you can launch your own campaign from it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't do a target number. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, three hits. Okay, three hits. Three hits is okay. Alright, mm -hmm. so let's see here. Let's get a little Americar. Let's see if there's an Americar I can grab. I think it's just pretty much a generic sedan. Yeah. It wants me to pay for a car? What? I'm not going to pay for a car, roll 20. Oh, I know. They try to get you to buy things. Yeah. Alright. Now we've got a car. Vroom, vroom. Alright, so you go off the map. So you go over here. This is the Badlands. And you're driving around. So this is like the fair ends of Seattle, right? Yeah, you, you, you go out past the wall. Um, there's like a makeshift meadow and wooden gate that they have to pull up with chains and let you out and into this blasted wilderness. It's like a desert. Oh, brutal. Um, there's um, mad backs, yo. buildings falling down in the distance. Uh, it's middle of the day, though, so you don't get to see any of the fires. You can see some, like, oily clouds drifting up overhead. It's pretty nasty out here. Yeah. yeah it's a shame I don't. Mm -hmm. Pussy's thinking, I wish I had the money to give this old piece of crap I drive an acid rain treatment. <laughs> yeah, you might need it. Anyway, you're going out there, and um, you eventually find it. You... Um, I guess you have GPS, AR, navigation, and all that. Out of combo. Yeah. Um, and plus, she's a sinner, so it's not that hard to track her. Mm -hmm. She probably left on her, um, you know, Google Maps. I am here. Come join the party. <laughs> AR notifications. Actually, um, I think it would. What would they be now? Since I think Google. Either died in the first crash, Crash 2.0, or it was gobbled up by Ares. Probably is I like Ares it as part of Horizon. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Horizon Net. Uh, oh, so now it's now you have Horizon. the Horizon Net. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of like the socially responsible, community focused company, so they're kind of like the Google of 2075, I guess. Mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. Although you know they're about as reliable too. To um, shank you with a pen as any yeah. anyone else, but at least they'll be up in your feet. But at least they won't wait till your back is turned. Actually, I mean, they do bad things. They're just nicer about in it. In the meta plot, Horizon is incredibly sinister, but that's you know nothing that we. Yeah, that's something that may or may not appear in the campaign. They're yeah. trying to do some kind of instrumentality shit. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's like one of us, one of us, yeah. but. They're happier. If you anyway. guys uh, investigate all this fun, you may find out who is the worst in this campaign. But anyway, yeah, um, you you come up to the uh, 
was probably a bunch of AR objects all yeah. surrounding the thing. The party, um, actually, the party is a little bit off the road. Um, there's like a cul-de-sac you can pull in, and there's a old Mexican guy sitting in um, a folding chair, smoking a pipe. And he like looks at you in your Ford America as you pull up. He's like, "Oh, another person to join the party." Well, he doesn't. The party doesn't start till I'm here. Yeah, he doesn't get up. I mean, there's no other cars here, so you figure they all drove down the hill out of sight. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going past him. I mean, I'm going to drive right up to the place. I right, so can. You, give me a, um, a driving Grand roll. Vehicles? Yeah, because you're going to go off-road now. Okay, so that's a handling limit of three for off-road. And, um, oh, actually, I can just jack into it, though, so that's fine. I oh, figure yeah, I drive around, right, jacked yeah. in all the, you know, jacked in all the time. All right, cool. And right. so it's the ground vehicles plus reaction, I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Reaction sounds good. All right. Well, 20. So that's... Four from the skill, five from reaction, two for the control rig for a total of 11. Nice. I am the rigger. Okay. I'm doing it cold sim, though, so I'm not, I'm not even as good as I could be. Uh, let's see. One hit? Ooh, only one hit. That's still... Ooh. Oh, no, wait. You botched. Uh-oh, you I glitched. think that's a glitch. You glitched. Oh, crap. That's a critical glitch. Oh, yes, it is. Or is, that, is that a critical glitch or a regular? It's a regular glitch, I think, because you actually did a yeah, success. Yeah, it's, it's less than, yeah, I have a success, but it's still a glitch. Yeah, it's still a glitch. Uh, do you want to burn it? No, you don't accidentally this, kill the Mexican dude. No, <sighs> no. You, like, you go um, over the hill. Are you going to spend the edge? Uh, to to or something? No, I only have one edge. Oh, I okay. Save that. <laughs> save that. All right, so on. I'll be back. You're going over yeah. the hill, and like you kind of lose I control. Back the image if the car gets damaged. Yeah, the, the car is like going to tilt over. Uh, you're going down the hill. It's like tumbling back and forth, and uh, it tilts over, and I'll be back. Goes upside down, and slides a bit, but it doesn't take any real damage. You just have to flip it back over. Oh, I hate the friggin' Badlands. Yeah, but you're parked well, now, and you can see the rave. Yeah. I love the fact that at least Lone Star isn't out here. That's the only thing to recommend it. Well, they are, but they're not looking for you. Well, yeah, but they're not, like, you know, have a drone on every corner like they do right. in the city. Right, they're just watching to make sure, like, there's not a giant army coming through of Aztecies. Yeah. They don't care about you. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know... Basically, uh, jack out of the car with an annoyed expression and kick the door open with one foot and stagger out. <laughs> nice. Grab the uh, the, the little, the little ca hand case with my uh, hidden submachine gun in it and uh, the bag of coke. And uh, what the heck, I'm going to go and snort that shit. <laughs> right. This is it's like, time to, it's time I, I uh, the, these, these, these stupid fraggers better not give me any trouble, or her for that matter. Yeah, yeah. And, um, let's see, actually, I guess I'll go ahead and, um, hmm. send the, the micro drone up to just take a look at the place to make sure that there's not something, you know, really bad that I need to worry about going on. I'm going to leave the roto drone where it is. Okay. Uh, you can do that. Um, the micro drone goes up. It actually looks to be a really laid back party. Like people are like swaying around and um there's not really loud music. There's like some guys sitting on the stage, like idly strung a guitar, but it's not actual real music. You're kinda of confused as what's going on. This is a pretty lame party to drive all the way out to the Badlands for. Yeah. And Chrissy's like, I don't know whether to be more annoyed over the fact that she specifically went against what I said to not leave without telling me, or whether she has such terrible taste. Yeah. So what do okay. you do? Well, I'll leave the micro. I'll, I'll have the micro drone uh, go back and watch my car, and I'm gonna come up there. All right. Um, you go up there. 
nobody gives you any trouble. In fact, you walk right up to them without anyone seeming to really notice you. Like a couple of them, like just give you looks, and then they're like, "Oh," and then they look away. They look kind of sad. Um, you do see your sister. Uh, let's see, what's her name again? Let us use her name so we get used to it. What was that? I'm looking for your sister's name again. Carmen. Carmen, that's right. Alright, you do see Carmen. She looks the same about everybody else, like kind of out of it. You figure that they're all drugged up on something and they can barely even notice you. Carmen doesn't even seem to see you. Hmm. I'm going to come up right behind her and do that annoying thing where you snap your fingers in somebody's face, but, you know, like an inch in front of their eye. Okay. So I'm annoyed. Well, let me roll some dice. Alright, um, she does notice you. She, like, kind of sleepily, like, looks over you, at you, and then she starts to wake up. She's like, oh, Twisty, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm looking for you, dumbass, or dumb, you know, whatever term they use for that in yeah, the 2075. Like... And, uh, you know, it's like, do you know where we are? I mean, we're like less than uh, less than ten clicks where I got freaking jumped by a bunch of go gangers one time, and that was uh, when uh, you know the uh, even earlier in the day than this. Let's get out of here. I mean, do you even have any security at this place? Well, she's like, what? I don't, I don't need security. Can't you just see how awesome this place is? What some uh, burned out, toxic, drenched? crap hole in the Badlands? Well, it's like uh, all these lights and sounds and there's so much stuff going on. Like, they got some guy on stage who's on fire. Can't you see it? Are we looking at the same guy? You don't see any guy on fire, but she's like, she's like looking at him she's like, what? She's actually getting more and more uh, emotional as you talk to her. But she still seems to be seeing whatever it is she's saying. That's it. I'm going to go have a talk with this stupid dreckhead. Carmen, you stay right here. I'm going to go uh, have, a, have some words with this idiot. I right. go up to the stage. She sounds, yeah, all right, you, you come back here, yeah. She's having a great time now. She's like, she's like rocking out, even though everyone else is like kind of drifting around. Okay. okay. So you go up to the stage where this guy is kind of lazily stunning his guitar with a stupid look on his face. And he's like, sees you come up, and he's like, yeah, what? You come for the party? I, uh, I grab his guitar and smash it. What Everyone cheers. That? Everyone cheers. <laughs> like they, they, come out, they come out of their stupor to cheer. This, this, they really like that. I grab him by the collar and say, what is going on here? What kind of uh, messed up dreck have you got these kids on, asshole? It's like, dude, you're not one of us, are you? Oh, really? You got freaking the high-tech cyber eyes or something there? Now tell me what's going on before, uh, you know, I use you to, is the lever to help uh, lift, it, to help flip back over my freaking car. No, man, no, you got it wrong. The party isn't here. The party is in the astral plane. Astral plane? Do you even what know that what that is? What is it, Mumbo Jumbo? Yeah, yeah. You, you've heard of it. Good. Then you know it's totally more awesome than what you're seeing. Hmm. Okay, can I roll uh, a knowledge uh, street drugs to see if I know anything that would be doing this? Oh, uh, sure. Actually, my skill, uh, like logic plus the skill. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, that's going to be five dice. Uh, 
Uh, two successes. hits. No, three hits. Oh, no, you're right. Five oh, wait. Wait. No. Uh, just, uh, yeah, three. Three. Three is... Okay. Um, you know they could be hallucinating, but it wouldn't be a shared hallucination. It, it probably... There's also no drugs that can make you see into the astral. So if your sister is singing to the astral, then that means she's probably magically sensitive. Oh, crap. Well, uh, yeah, good for her, I guess, but in practical terms, oh, crap. Yeah. So, is everybody, I asked this guy, is everybody here a freaking whiz, then? Everyone but you, man. Uh, I, you know, let him go and jump back down the stage. All right. Man, I, I should have... I picked the wrong uh, the wrong shit to take before I came here. I should have got some downers because now I'm uh, I, I, I'm all pissed off and I got nobody's ass to kick or nobody's hoop to kick. It's what they what they call. And I go back to Carmen and uh, say, all right, uh, you know, sort of walk home now. We we should probably get out of here. I mean, oh shit, oh you know, I'm kind of wigging out because I'm thinking that this is you know bad news and that this could cause all kind of trouble. And I was like, "Come on, look, we need to get we need to get in the car and get out of here." She's like, "What's going on? Oh, you really want to go right now?" And there's some other guy. I was he wasn't near her before, but now he's he's come over to see what's going on. He's wearing like this a uh, really nice scarf and um. Otherwise, kind of dusty, ragged clothes. And he comes over and he's like, "Hey, is this woman causing you trouble?" He asks Carmen. And Carmen's like, "No, no, this is my sister. This Maritza." Yeah. He's like, "Damn straight." Maritza, and he, yeah, he kind Maritza. of looks at you, like he's he's seen you from somewhere before. Mm, do I recognize him? Uh, give me a... I believe it's... What's the memory roll? Oh, good question. I think it's on page one. Thing. It's right after the skill section. Yeah, hold on. Logic plus willpower. Ah, okay. That's going to be seven, guys. Oh, nice. Wow. Sweet. You do recognize him. This guy is an um, Ask Technology headhunter. He, oh, he shit. He goes to parties like this and looks for new talent to hire into the court family. And he probably he probably knows who your sister is. He's probably here just because he heard that she wanted to join the court. Oh, Drek. But but she doesn't know that. She just thinks he's some guy she's been partying with. And uh, then, okay, Twisty kind of gets, you know, gets a little visibly nervous. And is like, no, no, it's it's all cool, Omay. Nothing, uh, you know, I'm just figuring I might take Carmen here to, you know, go to the nearest stuffer shack and, and get some shit for everybody, right? Right, right. He looks at you. Yeah, like a con roll or something for that? Um, yeah, that sounds good. Give me a con, con roll. Maybe he'll believe it. Um, Four dice, I think. Let me check that. Oh, no, actually, I don't think I have con. I have impersonation. So yeah, I'm going to be defaulting. Do it. So, uh, yeah, defaults. To two. Ouch. Alright. Uh, uh, no he hits. Buy it. He's like, Mm. You know, if if Maritza is bothering you, we we have a good place. You know, we can extract you from here. And she's like, "What? What are you talking about?" And okay, Twisty's kind of going to be speechless for a minute here, and you know, kind of start looking like she's cutting a wig, starting to wig out. Yeah. Um. So they're they're talking a little bit. He's explaining that he's from a corporation and that 
they look for new talent like her. Um, they, they like understand that most of the corporations are not friendly to Dr. Taylor. I'm just, I'm just you're, strang that, uh, you're strangling somebody, aren't you? Camera off for a second. Anyway, um, he's explaining to her that uh, ass technology is very friendly towards people with magical ability, and he believes that she could become one if she wants to. And she's like, she's starting to come down from wherever else she was, and be like, that sounds, that sounds like what I want, but what about my sister? He's like, uh, I, I'll, I'm gonna break in here and say, listen, if you if you got if you, if you got a talent for the whole whiz routine, that's great. I mean, shit, you know, or Drek, I can I can you know maybe pull some strings, get some money to get you into a good uh, you know uh, program to learn that kind of thing. But as technology, no, you you can't be thinking about working for them. Are we thinking about the same folks here? Well, come on, I know you always hated them, but. You know, if they're willing to let bygones be bygones, you know? But really, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to try to make a, I guess, negotiation here okay. or something like that. Probably not going to do that great on it. Oh, wait, I don't have negotiation either. Wow. <laughs> really, you're 2 d Christy is not a very good uh, socializer. Hmm. Well, she's good at etiquette, but nothing else. Okay. All right. What is that? Roll twenty. Oops. All right. Give me a knuckle. No. Give me an etiquette roll too. Okay. Let's see how good you're doing at this, because you you are her sister, and you know how to act around her. Let's see. I have street etiquette, but that wouldn't apply here. This is just regular etiquette, right? So that's going to be five dice. Okay. Two hits. All right. So is she's like not pissed off at you or anything, but you haven't really convinced her. Um, but neither does the Aztec guy seem to be convincing her. All right. Hmm. So he's like, you know what? I can see. I can see this is going to be a problem. Why don't I give you something? And if you think about it, and then contact me, contact me later, when you made up your mind. And she seems to think this is a good idea. So, the Aztec guy, he pulls out this uh, jeweled beetle kind of thing with a pin. Whoa! Out. What? That looks suspicious. Yeah, it's very suspicious. But he pulls it out, and he like takes it out, and he's starting to walk towards her with it in his hand. Hey, hey, I, I, I get between them. The, what the, what, uh, yeah, what the dreck is that thing? That looks like some, 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 uh, evil artifact from a horror trend. All right, yeah, 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 okay. Um, roll initiative. Oh, all right. Let's see, that's going to be 9 plus d6. Fifteen. All right, you win. Nice. So you get in between them, and he's like, not happy. So he tries to give it to you. He tries to give it to me. Yeah. Um. Like he he grabs he tries to grab your hand with one hand, and stick the veto in with his other. What do you do? Uh. Ooh. Not that good at armed combat. Um. Let's see. How, well, how does how does breaking away from a melee work again? Um, let's find out. Or can I? I, I guess so. It's, I, I beat him in the action, right? So I act first. Yeah, you act first. This is what he's trying to do. Hmm. I can always just you know try to kick him in the crotch. Yeah, go for crotch, it. That's what you want to do. From my height, I think I'll do that. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That's agility. Agility plus unarmed, dude. That's not going to be very good. Go for it. Um. Yeah, maybe this is time for your 
Edge. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's only going to make it four dice, though. Uh, is there, isn't there something else you can do with Edge? Besides um, just pushing the limit? Let me look that up real quick. You can burn it permanently. I don't think you want to do that. Let's see. Um, you can spend it to go first, but you're already going first. Oh, here's what I'm looking for. Uh, you can for you can spend a point to re-roll all dice that did not score a hit. All right, so if I, if I complete the miss, I'll, I'll do that. All right, so go ahead and roll your attack. So that's, ooh, 3d6. One unarmed skill and two agility. I, I got good strength, but not agility. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it's it's hits. Hits. nice. All right, so you'll get him. And, um... Let's see. I'll just say that he, um... He gets the message, you know. He backs off, like... That's uh, if you okay. if you want to know the damage, that's going to be net hits plus three. Yeah, so three hard hit. It is a really hard hit. Well, pretty hard. You know, stun damage. Yeah, but he's stunned. I mean, he's it's not three, he's not, three, three damage base. From he's not going to fall down from it. No, but he gets the message. Yeah, he he backs off. And uh, and then he just like. He offers oh, yeah. it to you, like, outstretching the palm of his hand, like, come on. I'm not asking for mu much, and he's like, oh. Okay. This could go idea. a lot worse. I have an idea. I'm going to break open the uh, little suitcase that I have with me and pull out my uh, Ingram Smart Gun 10 and point it at him. All right. All right. He just, he just backs up with his hands in the air. He doesn't want any of that. I tell him, okay. Dreckhead, if that thing's so nice, why don't you just eat it, huh? It's made of rock. Oh, you're breaking my heart here. Well, I mean, it's small enough that he could stick it in his mouth, right? Oh, yeah, he could totally stick it in his mouth. Well, do it. I want you to eat it. All right, give me intimidation. Oh, uh, let's see. Ooh, I don't know if I have that skill. But I do get a bonus for pointing a gun at him. Yeah, I'm I know, I know sure. that much. Let's see, intimidation. I think it's plus one. Or it might be plus two. You roll charisma, plus intimidation. Modified. I really should have taken that. <laughs> yeah, everyone always uses intimidation, but they never buy it. I don't, I don't get it. In any game. Yeah, I just didn't have enough karma. I, I wanted to get it. But. Yeah. Anyway, uh, actually... So you're not that see. physically imposing. But I have done damage to him, because I punched him. Yep, you have done damage to him, and you're wielding a weapon, so that's plus two. Um, plus two has caused physical pain. So you get um, Intimidate plus Charisma plus four. So defaulting, so that's two from, out of three Charisma yeah. plus four, six dice. So see, that's that's not that bad. Although I still do want to buy it. Yeah. Uh, two hits, and that's opposed by his willpower, I think. Okay. Um... He makes no hits. So he is interesting the way he does it. He like picks up the scarab out of your hand and turns it upside down and carefully puts it in his mouth. And he closes his mouth and keeps backing off. Okay, I tell him to get the heck out of here. Alright, he's getting out of there. And likewise. He's going yeah. back to um, his. Actually, into the desert. You don't know where his car is. Into the desert, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he, he's probably got something out there. He may he may have a team out there actually you don't know. I mean, Carmen's right. like looking at you like you're a little bit crazy. Welcome back. Yeah, that's pretty much how first he is. You really want to go now? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know you you don't like these guys, but. You kind of embarrassed me in front of these people I don't even know. 
all the other people at the party? Are they even paying attention? Yeah, but it's like, it's weird, not with their eyes. Huh. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, well, you know, uh, I don't want, you know, that, that there was something really wrong about that scarab beetle thingy he was going to give to you, Carmen. I mean, that's, if he was give, if he was going to give you a freaking, uh, you know, calling card or com code or something, that would be different. But this, this, this trick makes me nervous. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of creepy. She agrees with you. So let's get out of here. Listen, we we, we can talk about what we're going to do for the future wise later. I mean, I'll be coming into some more money soon. I can maybe put you up for MIT and T or something if I can really uh, have some luck. But come on, you, you know, Aztec, they're just everybody knows that they don't that they don't, that they only see people as products. Uh, you know, they, they see people see people as products in the stuffer shack. She's like, yeah, I I don't know, but yeah, I'll I'll go with you if you really want to. Alright, so, oh boy, I gotta get the car up somehow. She's like, wait, you don't even have a car? Well, I have a car. Uh, had a car. Well, it's kind of messed up. You know what? Can I get the roto drone to kind of help? Well, it's probably not very strong. Carmen says that she can get some help. And she, like, tugs on one of the guy's sleeves next to you that just been standing there like a zombie, and he's like, he comes out of the trance and he's like, listen to you, and he, he nods, and four or five other guys, you know, come out of the trance, and they're all standing around you in a semicircle, and now he's like, one of the guys looks at Carmen, and he's like, yeah, that guy was bad news. We didn't know he would be here. Hey, we'll, we'll help you know, out. Twisty's like, I got nothing against, you know, the Awakened or anything, it's just those guys I have a problem with. They are now, they're like, yeah. Sorry for breaking the guitar, by the way. I can pay for it. It was it was awesome. You should have seen what it looked like. You were so pissed off. You don't really believe it. It looked great. No, no hard feelings. Oh, actually, I just realized I should have been adding uh, another dice to all of those charisma rolls I was making because of the drugs. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, yeah, keep track of those silly little things. All right, so you all go back to the car, and um, it's like half a dozen of you. It's no problem to tip it over. It's just a little piece of Ameritrash. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, it probably uh, looks like crap after... Turning over like that, but it's a, it, you know, it's it's made look like crap before. <laughs> yeah. So you get it flipped over and uh... yeah, and they'll start and everything. So, um, I guess you guys drive back to the city. Mm -hmm. uh, there won't be any more trouble from as technology for a little bit, and that's it. Yeah, uh, basically we'll kind of, you know, be nice and, and kind of, you know, uh, not make any, not argue or any for a while about this whole thing. Yeah, with, she's uh, she's okay in the it. car. She's like, feels kind of bad for being mean to you. Uh, she was just having, you know, she wanted to get away from all the bad stuff. Aww. Uh, yeah. The bad stuff, you can't get away from bad stuff. The yeah. bad stuff gets she's away like, from you. She's like, oh, I have a registered sin and everything. I mean, like, why are we trying to be criminals? I mean, I don't think mom and dad wanted us to be criminals. Hey, you remember, you know, let's see, uh, we'll kind of maybe flesh that bit of the backstory out later, but mom and dad definitely didn't want us to be, you know, the real criminals. You know, the... the why does everybody look at the, the little guys and say that they're the worst of society when we all know who's really responsible for all this drag? But well, she's like, well, well, if that was the case, why why did they get us chipped? Why do we have ID numbers? <sighs> because sometimes when people get older, they just they just lose the will to fight. Mm. 
She doesn't make her very happy, but she doesn't say anything. Okay, so I guess once we get back home, uh, I'm going to just for uh, just for uh, safety's sake put the micro drone on a constant patrol mm -hmm. around the neighborhood and have the roto drone ready to take off at a moment's notice. Okay. Probably oh, drink a bunch of soy calf to stay up for the next 12, uh, 24 hours or so. Yeah, they don't give you any more trouble. Um, you don't contact a duck or anything, so they may have uh, tracked you guys somehow through the Matrix. You're not sure. But they don't come after you. Um, apparently, they wanted her to be kind of willing and not just steal her away from some test. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're only super villains when it's beneficial to them, not right. when it would be stupid. They didn't need another person in the tube, test tube tonight. 